Hey guys, so I haven't done like a talky get ready with me playtime video in a while, but I thought that I would because I just did a shop my stash video for this month's project pan and I really want to play with green because of my new green alien nails and of course the, there we go, my new green alien nails. And I'm inspired by that, so I'm going to play with the BH Cosmetics Pistachio Palette. And this is what it looks like. Very pretty. I played with the Cotton Candy one on here, but not that one yet, I don't think. And then for my project pan, I'm going to try and incorporate Oh, that was a lot of hiccup. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to incorporate some of these greens that I picked out. And I am actually going to show you guys what I've been using for my brows lately since my hair is different. I am using the Kayvon B, the KVV Vegan Beauty um, pomades in Satellite Blue, that is really gorgeous, and Roxy Purple. So I always do my brows first. And I go in with the um, Satellite Blue. Okay, we got the blue down. Now we're going in with Roxy Purple. And honestly, I could have used her, um, or there now, there is no her. But there, um, I honestly could have used their liquid lipsticks. But I have that similar in these colors, but I don't know. I wanted to try some really colorful brow pomades and I got these with my Ulta points because the KVD Vegan Beauty has moved to Ulta now which I'm actually really glad they did because I was running low on my favorite black liquid lipstick that they have and I was able to repurchase the Tattoo liner. My eyebrows are never the same, but I really don't like my eyebrows. I've seen people who look great with no eyebrows at all, and they just, you know, draw their eyebrows in. But I think if I were to shave my eyebrows, my grandmother would have a heart attack. Because <laughs> um, she always compliments on my eyebrows, which I really don't think is a big deal, but whatever. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to use this Terra Moon Cosmetics uh, yellow. And I forget what it's called, and I am not going to pick it up because of my nails. Whoa, that yellow is super, super bright. <gasps> I honestly don't think I have... ...played with this yellow really before.
So I did manage to take it out. This is called Starlight from Terra Moon Cosmetics, but I think this one is discontinued and she has new, she has a whole new neon bundle, but I think she has a similar yellow to this. I bought this like literally no joke right before they discontinued them. And I was like, well, I wish I would have known that so that I could have bought the new formula instead, but I'm still gonna buy the new formula one of these days. It's not a big deal. Possibly this summer because during summertime, I am very like obsessed with neon bright cut creases and it's just really fun. So now I am going in with the palette, the pistachio palette, and I am going to take um, a guilty pleasure. Um, do I want that? Let's see if it works out first. Oh yeah, this is definitely what I wanted. So yeah, Guilty Pleasure from the Pistachio Palette. And I'm just taking that kind of where your crease would be, but I am recreating my crease because my crease is non-existent. I have very, very hooded eyes. Yeah, I'm really glad I went in with that yellow because it's doing exactly what I want. And I never thought that I would get into BH Cosmetics, but they're really upping their game with their eyeshadows. Now I want that Galaxy Chic palette because I'm all into like us, um, uh, astrology, 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 yeah. kind of like I'm not, I don't read everything into astro. Uh, why can I say that word? You guys know what I mean. Like, just because I'm a Gemini, that doesn't make me who I am. I'm still me without being a Gemini, but I am proud of being a Gemini. And I really want to get some of Makeup Revolutions, like a Zodiac Sign palette. Okay, so you should have something a little bit like that. Okay, so now we are going in with... Um, oh, cone or cup. Cone or cup. Just putting that on the outer V and really, really bringing it into the, the actual crease. So far, the blend with this palette has been really smooth. Qual uh, guilty pleasure, quality pleasure. <laughs> guilty pleasure and try to fix that little 
Mas... Oh, shoot. See, I just made a big a boo boo right there. That's okay, wipe off the brush. And <laughs> go back into a guilty pleasure and try to diffuse it. Take a flat brush and just uh, fill it in. But I'll be right back. So I decided to do all the boring stuff off camera just because the lighting was not cooperating. And like I said, I took my concealer, cut my crease with, um, I traced it with a smaller brush and then I just took a bigger flat brush and filled it in. And then I took my NYX glitter glue and uh, filled it in with a flat brush like this. And so for the next part, the fun part, I am going to, if I can find it, I have a lot of brushes out and I thought I had, yeah, there we go. I am actually going to do something really different and I am going to take Am Ambendino from Davina Cosmetics. Oh, actually, should I take that one? Or that one? That one or that one? Oh gosh, I don't know. You know what, let me do this one. And then, you know, I really wanna do that one. Because I think it would be a nice contrast with the green. Very pretty. Now I'm going to take... Woo! Don't drop. <laughs> um, Dragonfly? from a uh, Terra Moons. I'm going to put that. Okay, now I am going to take, um, a dessert from the pistachio palette, and with my finger, I'm going to dab that kind of in the middle. That's really pretty. Really pretty. So, for the waterline, I added NYX Faux White in... Mint Cream. And I am still going to do the um, 
under eye. I'm just gonna take the remaining product on the brush. And sweep it underneath. Yes. And I'm going to take Sharon, Sharon from Terra Moons. I might layer that over something else because it's pretty much just glitter. So I think I'm going to take that minty green color from Terra Moons. I'll Now for highlighter, I'm going to take something different, something I haven't really, hmm, this one, no that one's gold. I'm going to take a Makeup Revolution strobe highlighter in holographic lights. It's a really pretty minty green. Mm. It's pretty, but it's not like wow now that I think about it. So I might have to go over it. Something from Davina Cosmetics. I'm going to take this beautiful like minty green. Layer, there we go. That's what I wanted. Yes. love it when a look comes together. And now, for one of my favorite parts, let's scoop this palette up more so that I don't drop it, heaven forbid. Um, I'm going to take Witches. I love when you have a lipstick and it's not all dried out and everything. And of course, I'm going to do my 
Okay guys, so this is the final look. Yeah, this is my final look. I feel like I want to show off my hair more than I want to show off the makeup because I'm always like playing with my hair. But I really like how this turned out. Very springy. Very minty green. But yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a comment down below. If you want to subscribe, of course you don't have to. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.